set phasers to 2019 for Star Trek fans watching the new series Star Trek Discovery there is good news and bad news. The good news is the series, which is set a decade before the classic original series featuring Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock, has been renewed for a second season. The bad news is we're unlikely to see the second season before 2019. In just six episodes Star Trek Discovery has driven subscriber growth, critical acclaim and huge global fan interest for the first premium version of this great franchise, CBS Interactive President Mark de Beauvoir said. The series airs in Australia on Netflix. Yasmin Mandipgill, Graham Bradley Walsh, the Dr. Jodie Whittock, Ryan Toss and Cole will call the TARDIS home in Season 13 of Doctor Who, photo ABC Who's Companion the BBC has confirmed its first female Doctor Who, British actor Jodie Whittaker, will get a team of three companions in her TARDIS when the series returns, confirming the Doctor's main companion will be a 57-year-old man named Graham. Comedian internet actor Bradley Walsh has been named in the role. He will be joined by former Hollyoaks stars Mandip Gill and Tossin Cole, who will play two young time travelers Yasmin and Ryan. Whitaker is replacing actor Peter Capaldi, who has been in the role since 2013. Capaldi announced his plan to step down in January 2017. The upcoming Christmas episode, The Doctors, will be his last. A woman of great characters, the iconic Australian actress Judith McGrath has died, aged 70. Though she worked extensively as a character actress, McGrath won star billing in a handful of milestone Australian dramas, notably Prisoner, A Country Practice and All Saints. Notably, for 253 episodes between 1979 and 1984, McGrath played Wentworth Detention Center's dependable Deputy Governor Colleen Powell in Prisoner. Her other credits include Bluey, Skyways, Young Ramsey and Special Squad. Fremantle Media's head of drama Joe Porter said McGrath was one of those incredible character actors who stole hearts and scenes. Top honor for director Los Angeles-based Australian director Kate Dennis has been honored at the sixth annual Australians in Film Gala. Dennis, who this year stepped into the upper echelons of Hollywood's leading television directors with a stunning Emmy nomination for her work on the critically acclaimed The Handmaid's Tale, was the recipient of the Annette Kellerman Award. The award, named after the professional swimmer who became one of cinema's first stars in the early 20th century, recognizes trailblazing women in the U.S. film industry. Other award recipients include musician Tim Minchin and screenwriter Luke Davies.